What's up you guys, here today with some uh, Spyro Remastered. I'm, I'm really excited to get this going. Uh, this is a game I think pretty much everybody's probably played. If not, um, it's something you definitely need to pick up, but I'm excited about it. Uh, first, I've got to go through their license agreement. And it sucks because if you decline it, then what? I mean, you can't play the game. You can't return it because it's used. I don't understand it. So we have to accept it. Uh, we'll do the first one. And I don't know, I might not do a lot of videos on this, to be honest. I just wanted to put a few out there for people that just wanted to check out uh, a little bit of the game, or maybe if they were on the fence about buying it. Just a few quick things. Um, this is, um, I'm playing it on the PS4 Pro. They have enhanced this game, so it's got like a 4K resolution, which um, I guess is good. I mean, it's kind of like a little animated game, so I don't know how badly you need it, but, but it's still, I mean... It's good that they've dedicated oh, oh, that to the graphics. Uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Trying to get my stuff adjusted. Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat? Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Huh? Looks like I've got some things to do. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, I mean, um, I'm not probably going to do a lot of videos on this unless people want to see more. Um, but it's just something that I felt like I really wanted to cover a little bit of. This is really neat to see all this again. Um, and the first video, I'll probably make it a little bit shorter. Um, Kind of messing around with you a little bit. Oh, I guess that's a bad guy. Okay. Just... Okay, so I rescued someone on accident. That's okay. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch you. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh. His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. How do I charge? There we go. Yeah, this is uh, really neat, though. It's just, it's fun. Um... Okay. And um, just for the few people that uh, do follow my channel and stuff, um, I haven't really been posting much lately because uh, I've just had so much that I've had to deal with the aftermath of the Hurricane Florence that we had. So, Let's see, how do we breathe fire? How do we do that? There we go. Yeah, this is, I tell you what, it's just fun though. I mean, I'm really glad that they're doing this. That's like something. Uh, uh, I'm sure everybody knows in uh, next month actually wow the um, PlayStation classics coming out and I've watched a lot of the um reviews and stuff from the journalists and um you know they say it's a fun little thing but um it's like I guess bare bones you know it comes to like 20 games but it's got you know some that I'm really looking forward to like Metal Gear Solid but um my point is I'm getting the, I've got it pre-ordered and I wonder how many people out there are gonna do that, you know? Um, because, I mean, really, you don't have to now. I mean, you know, you've got stuff like this or Crash Bandicoot. A lot of those things for, like, the older nostalgia for people that were fans of the um, original PlayStation. So, okay, so let's go free that um, dragon up there. I'm still trying to get the controls down. Here we go. So we got Nasty Nesty out. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. 
Free 10 dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Well, dang, that's messed up. That's all you can tell me, but okay. So, um, I kind of feel like I need to give some of my thoughts just on the first few minutes of this. The controls do feel good. Um, I feel like they could be a little better, but, um, they're pretty good, though. Um, and then as far as, like, graphics-wise, I mean, just what I'm seeing so far, it, it looks really good. I mean, it's just a very cleaned-up, animated game. It looks, it looks awesome. So far, I don't have any complaints. Um, even a lot of, like, the background and stuff, they, uh, looks like they've done really good with it. More than I thought they were gonna do. Oh, I missed that. Let's try that again. Oh my god. Why can I not get that? I'll try one more time and then I'll move on. Let's see. Hang on. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. Skill point acquired, so I guess that's that was worth doing. I've been through here, right? Yeah, okay. So we need to find dragons, that's what he was telling us. Now have I been through... What do we got in here? Okay. I got... Thomas without the eight. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Well, we kind of just learned that, but. So, um, I feel like the one thing I'm not liking a whole lot at the moment is there's a lot of like m motion blur, which, um, I usually don't have a problem with, but I feel like there's a little bit of that on here. Yeah, I hope this game does really well, though. I'm just uh, such a big, like, fanboy of, like, all the classics. And see, this is like, they remind you, like, this is how they used to do it, too. Like, a lot of this, uh, a lot of these games were so, uh, puzzle-based, you know? And then they always had, like, the cheesy tutorials where, like, somebody tells you, like, like that guy did double jump to glide. And... So what's this? Stone Hill. Check this out. Still got quite a bit of loading, as to be expected. Oh, that's neat. I can control them. Okay. I imagine a lot of people are going to be doing videos like um, just comparing the original to this one and all that, which is fine. I bet a lot of people are interested in that, um, but I don't really think that something like that's necessary. Yeah, the controls are, um, I don't know, I really, I guess I shouldn't complain, but. Yeah, and something a lot of these older games did, um, which is sometimes it feels like a grind, is like having to collect stuff. Like all these little gems, you know? Like, it's one of those things where it's fun at first, but it gets tiring pretty quick, you know? 
but um on here though it doesn't matter because I mean this is a remake and of course you would expect that to be in here in fact I'd probably be disappointed if it wasn't I hate this because there's like so many little places to explore and collect stuff so it's like I can't make up my mind where I want to go Now we're going to free this guy. He'll probably give me a tip about charging. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Hi, Spyro. Oh, okay, so I guess it's been saved. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is really neat to take all this in. It's really cool. Um, I've been, you know, I was doing uh, Spider-Man before this video, and I've had such a blast with that. I've been like uh, spoiled. Let's see what he says. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! My thoughts exactly. Yeah, this is this is really fun though. I'm really glad they did this. Ah. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. Oh man, I didn't want to go out. We gotta try to get that treasure chest. Okay. Dang, how do we get this? I'm trying to see if he's got like a ground pound. I don't think that he does. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that later. I wonder if we want to go ahead and return home. Back to the cribbo. <clears throat> so yeah, this is uh this is just a really neat collection. It comes with um the Spyro trilogy, which is the f this one here, Spyro the Dragon. It's got uh the second one, Ripto's Rage, and then um Year of the Dragon is the third one. So I think that's uh. That's really neat. I'm going to have fun, like I said, going through the three of these. I, I, I don't think that I'll um, beat them, to be honest, but um, uh, it's just uh, it's just neat to go back through them a little bit, you know? Um, can we open this? Oops. Gotta hit it to open it. Maybe not yet. Those like goblin things, I, all I want to do is chase them around, it's so fun. Look at this. I love how they run from you. Oh, 
we got here? Hello. If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I vaguely remember that. Oh man, he got he got through. Okay. Well, yeah, this is neat. Maybe I'll check that out. Rescue a few more dragons. But like I said, I mean, you know, I figured I'd just make the, the first video kind of short. Um, just kind of some of the opening and just for people to check out. Um, I'll probably do a couple more videos on it. Uh, like I said, I probably won't do a whole lot. I'm probably going to, when I get another, uh, a little bit of more spare time, I'll do another Spider-Man video next. Um... I just like I said, everything's been so hectic, blah, blah, blah. But, um, and real quick, uh, people that do check this out, uh, please drop a comment below. I'd uh, love to hear what people have to say, like their thoughts. Like, um, is this something that you're considering getting? Do you like, uh, retros? Like, do you, uh, plan on getting the PlayStation Classic? Or do you already have the Nintendo and Super Nintendo Classics? This is interesting. Oh, man, you see, you can't get them like that. You gotta get them like that. And these guys. Like that, maybe? But anyway, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, pause it here for today. Like I said, I, you know, it's short. The next video I'll do will probably be a little bit longer. Um... But anyway, like I said, put a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, remember, please do. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.